I'm here in Portland, Oregon at Hoffman Academy. And at these weekly jam sessions, in case this is your very first time joining us, what we'll do is I'll give you a very brief lesson on improvisation. We'll jam together. You get to make music at your piano, so make sure you're watching me at your piano so you can join in the jamming. And then we have a couple jokes from the Finger Puppet Friends. And at the very end, I will do shout outs and uh, say hello to anyone who's watching live using our Facebook stream. If you want to watch us on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash Hoffman Academy slash live. And if you're watching me live, that's awesome. And I'll be able to give you a shout out at the end. So today, our, oh wait, one announcement. Next week, because we have a lot of people in the uh, Pacific time zone where I'm a part of, who uh, kids are back in school now, a lot of them, and this time is no longer uh, able to be a time that some people can join in. And it's impossible with our worldwide community to find a time that works for everyone, but I wanna to try to do as many people as possible. And so starting next week, we are changing the time for this weekly jam session to 4 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesdays, 4 p.m. Wednesdays, and I'm hopeful that that will allow more people to participate. I know that time may actually be worse for some of you, and I apologize in advance, but uh, based on our calculations, this will maximize the number of people who can do it. And if uh, this time actually doesn't work for you, I hope you'll be able to watch our archives. You can always go back and watch these lessons later if you go to our Facebook page and click on videos or click on live and that will show you our past live streaming events. Okay, enough talk, let's jam. Today we're doing the tango. If you've heard that kind of style before, that's a style of music that was popular in Argentina in the 19th century. And since that time, it has spread around the world as a popular kind of dance form and style. And I think it's a lot of fun. And so I thought we would jam to the tango today. So that's the accompaniment that I will be playing. But you at home are going to improvise a melody while I play that accompaniment. And later on, I'll actually show you how I, uh, you can play a simplified version of that accompaniment uh, for yourself, or if you have someone at home who plays the piano as well, you can turn it into a duet. One of you can play the accompaniment, one of you can play the melody, and you can jam together this week. I wrote up here two rhythms that are commonly used in tango. And so I thought we'd try out these rhythms we're in the key of D minor today. But before we go to the piano, let's just look at this rhythm. We could say for this, ta, ti, ta, ta. Notice that this quarter note has a dot, which makes it last for one and a half beats. So just a half beat longer than our usual quarter note, that dot stretches out for an extra half beat, ta, ti. And then this note has this flag, which turns it into an eighth note, which in my method we call T or TT, but since there's just one, it's just a T. So this would be ta, T, ta, ta. And that dot just stretches that ta out an extra half beat. Ta, T, ta, ta. Say it with me, ready, go. Ta, T, ta, ta. Ta, T, ta, ta. Let's try to clap that rhythm. Ready, go. Ta, T, ta, ta. Ta, T, ta. Ta. Touch that rhythm on your nose. Ready, go. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta. Touch your elbow. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Good. Now that you've got that rhythm inside of you, let's try playing it. We're going to use the D minor pentascale today. In case you haven't learned D minor yet, it's these five notes. Let's get you a little closer to help you see that. 
D is always between the two black keys, D for doghouse, and then you just go up from there. So those five notes are the D minor pentascale. Take just five fingers from either hand, uh, I'm using my right hand, and just try playing those five notes, stepping up, and then try stepping down. Now for bonus, if you've learned how to do one octave scales, you can add some notes on top we'll be using mostly D harmonic minor, which goes up from here. What the fingering normally would be is finger one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So your finger one comes under onto the G, and then you can go all the way up like that. Now, if you haven't learned how to do one octave scales yet, just stick to these five notes and that's just fine. This would be optional. Now, sometimes in my accompaniment, you're going to want to use D natural minor. And you'll just have to use your ears to hear that. Sometimes I'm playing um, an A7 chord down low with that C sharp. And if I'm playing that chord, the C sharp will sound best. But sometimes I'll be playing an F major chord with a C. And in that case, a C will sound best. Now, if, if your ear... Basically, just do what sounds right. And as you get more experience with improvising, you'll learn to hear those harmonies that I'm playing, and you'll naturally know whether you ought to be doing a C or a C sharp. For today, don't stress about it. Just use your ear. And if you play one and it doesn't sound right, switch to the other. I'll be changing my chords throughout the accompaniment. So it will keep you on your toes, but again, just use your ears and do what sounds right to you in the moment. All right, so those are the notes we'll be using. Um, take a minute and just cover up, if you're just doing the pentascale, get your hand in position. And what I'd like to do is play this rhythm over and over again, but you get to choose the note. For example, uh, I'll just play some patterns. Ta, ti, ta. See, I was doing the same rhythm over and over again. That's called an ostinato, when you repeat a pattern over and over in music. So we're making this a rhythmic ostinato, but I was changing the notes every time, using the same rhythm again and again, but making up different melody lines. Okay, like I started on D, then I stepped up, Repeat. Then I step down. Repeat. You can change it up however you want. Ta, ti, ta, ta. The patterns are up to you, but let's do this rhythmic ostinato. Okay? I'll chant the rhythm while you play. And we're going to repeat it maybe six to eight times. So just keep playing notes. My challenge to you is to not overthink it. When you're improvising, you don't have time to plan it out too much. Okay, the music is always moving forward. And so as an improviser, it's helpful to train yourself to not think about it too much. You've got to just play. Let your fingers just make something up. And if it doesn't sound the way you expected, that's okay. There's no right or wrong notes. We're just experimenting with possible sounds. So get your fingers in the D minor pentascale. If you're doing the pentascale, and let's just play this rhythm over and over again. So try to keep your notes matched with my speaking. I'll give you four beats and then we'll start. And remember our rhythm is ta, ti, ta, ta. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta. You're playing ta, ti, ta, ta. Just keep repeating ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ta, last one, ta, ti, ta, ta, stop. Good. So hopefully that was just practicing playing patterns and not thinking about it too much. Now let's check out this rhythm. This is another rhythm that's common in tango. You'll notice we've got an eighth note, which we call T, which is twice as fast as a quarter note, which says ta, ti, ta, ta. Notice that these ta's are twice as long as the t's. The t's are quicker, ta's are slower. 
ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta say it with me whoops ready go ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta clap it go ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta on your chin go ti ta ti ta ta nice job okay now let's try playing that rhythm as an ostinato you're going to use the notes of the D minor pentascale. So remember, D is your lowest note in between the two black keys. And it could be anything. Ti ta, ti ta, ta, ti ta, ti ta, ta, ti ta, ti ta, ta, ti ta, ti ta, ta. See, I was doing different notes every time. You can use repeating notes. You can do stepping up. You can do stepping down. Every once in a while, a skip. There's no right or wrong, okay? Let's play this rhythm over and over again as an ostinato and just experiment with different notes you can do in D minor, whether it's the pentascale or you can also use the full octave scale if you want. One, two, ready, play. Ti ta, ti ta, ta. Ti ta, ti ta, anything you want. Ti ta, ti ta, ta. Ti ta, ti ta, ta. Ti ta, ti ta. Ta, keep playing. Ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Last one. Ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. Great. Now, as we are jamming together, I encourage you to use these rhythms in your improvising. You don't have to use them the whole time, but these are common rhythms in tango, and so they're going to sound good with my accompaniment. As I play. As I'm doing this accompaniment, you can be doing ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta. And when you're bored of that, when you could switch to this one, ta ti ta 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 ti ta ta. Now, do you have to do these rhythms the entire time? Absolutely not. Remember, there's no rules or right or wrong with improvising. All that matters is that you like how it sounds. If you ever play a note you don't like how it sounds, just step down a note, step up a note, and you'll usually land on a note that fits with the chord. Okay? So, have some fun. Once I start playing the accompaniment, you can start playing any time. And again, try to match your rhythms to the feel of the tango. A tango isn't super fast. It's very moody and dramatic. And, you know, if you ever see people dancing the tango, it's, it's almost kind of silly looking because it's so dramatic and bold looking. Ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta. So don't be those. Try to feel that beat that I'm giving you in the accompaniment and have your notes match with that. Ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, 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 ti, ta. Got it? So feel the beat and have some fun experimenting in D minor. Get in position and you can start playing anytime. A one, two, three, four.
your improvisation go? Hope you had some fun with that. Improvisation is such a fun way to just play around on the piano. Now, I would like to show you how to play the accompaniment. I'll show you a simplified version. And uh, the chords that I was doing are D minor. Can you see that? And then G minor. And then A7. And then D minor. And you can just repeat that over and over and over again. I did two measures on each one. Two measures, two measures, two measures, and then two measures. I kind of threw in an extra A7 chord at the end there just to kind of sound fancy, but you don't have to do that. Okay, now let me show you how to do those chords on the piano. I was using kind of a, a standard tango or habanera rhythm. So for the D chord, just start on a D, go up a fifth to A, up a fourth to D. And uh, this is helpful if you have slightly bigger hands. If you are, let's say, under 10 years old, this might be a bit of a stretch. But I would use my finger five, then two, then one on these notes. Five, two, one. And it goes bum, ba, bum, 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 ba, bum, bum. Five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two. See how I'm doing that? It's kind of awkward holding this camera and doing this at the same time. But I think you get the idea. Bum, 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 then bum, bum, bum. So for the G chord, basically the same idea. I'm doing G, D, G. Bum, 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 bum. Then A, bum, 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 bum. So it's always the same pattern. I'm doing a fifth, then a fourth. Bum, bum, bum. That's the A, then back to D. Kind of awkward looking, huh? Okay. You get better at holding the camera straight. Down to G. Up to A. Then back to D. Okay, try this pattern. Just go five, two, one, two. Down to G. to D. Okay, you can just keep repeating that. And your left hand can do that while your right hand plays the melody. Or like I said, you can get someone to play along with you. One person can do that accompaniment. And with the other hand, if you have two players, you can just play these chords as blocked chords. See, my right hand is just playing a D minor chord, first inversion while my left hand plays this accompaniment. Then a G minor chord. See, my right hand can just play those chords as whole notes, while the left hand does the bum, 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 bum. But if you're playing with yourself, your left hand can do that accompaniment pattern while your right hand improvises a melody. There's so many ways you can do this. And that's the fun thing about having a duet partner is it opens up some more possibilities but again, this is something you can even make up an accompaniment for yourself. Left hand plays the accompaniment, right hand improvises the melody. So I hope you'll have some more fun this week doing a jam with yourself or with someone else who is around that you can rope into playing piano with you. It's a lot of fun. All right, that was our jam for today. Uh, let me go see if the finger puppets are ready to share a joke. Hey guys, you ready for a joke? I'm ready. Here's one for you. What animal is smarter than a talking parrot? I don't know, what? A spelling bee. <laughs> oh, good one. Okay, what did one firefly say to her firefly friend? Her firefly friend, I don't know. You glow girl. <laughs> you glow girl, good one. Bye, everyone. Bye. 
Thanks for the jokes, guys. All right, it's time for shout outs. So if you would like a shout out, you need to be on our Facebook page. You need to be watching live and uh, just leave a comment with your name and where you're watching from and I'll say hello to you. Let me go on my phone to our Facebook page and let's see if I can find all the comments. Here we go. And just a reminder before I do shout outs, next week we are changing the time of this jam session, which I hope will be helpful to a lot of people. It's 4 p.m. Wednesdays Pacific time. So starting next week, don't forget, we're gonna be at 4 p.m. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all then. Here we go. Hello to Nathan in Portland. Hello to Minnie in the UK. And I'm so sorry that this time is going to be worse for you. I'm really sad about that. Uh, but I hope that you can tune in after the fact. Let's see. Oh, someone says we could do it on the weekends. That's an interesting idea. I will have to look at that. Uh, hello to Mina in Washington. Great to have you watching today. Hello to Sophia. Hello to Abigail in Louisiana. Hello to Kessia and Priscilla in Florida. Hello to Kyle and Ryan in Spokane, Washington. Glad you enjoy the puppets. Hello to all the Duns. Thanks for watching today. Hello to Iris in Kentucky. Oh no, and the time's not gonna work for you next week. I'm so sad about that. Hello to Isha in Atlanta, Georgia. Hello to Parth in Beaverton. Hello to Noel in North Carolina. Hello to Rakshan in Chennai, India. Hello to David in Omaha, Nebraska. Hello to Isaiah in Monterey Park, California. Hello to Perrin in Winlock, Washington. Hello to Gina in Clarksville, Tennessee. Hello to Zachary in Seaford, Seaford, England. Hello to Alexis and Drake in Nebraska. Hello to Abigail in Louisiana. Hello to Misha. Hello to Naira and Ilona in Colombia, South America. Glad you could join. Hello to Yanina or Yanina in California. Hello to Rakshan in India. Hello to Isaiah in California. Hello to Kirk in Gresham, Oregon. Hello to Daria in New York City. Hello to Misha in Philadelphia. Hello to Parker in Orange County, California. Let's see. James and John, hello to you in Joplin, Missouri. Some people are asking, can I do the jam session twice a week? That might help if we could do more possible times. I just gotta figure out if I could squeeze that into my schedule. Hello to Philip in Georgia. Hello to Teresa, who's in unit 12. Congratulations on that. Hello to Raylan, Declan, Eliana, and Colt in Mesa, Arizona. I was born in Mesa, Arizona. That's pretty cool. I haven't been back much since because I only lived there till I was like three years old, but that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, those are all the names I see so far, but sometimes there's a delay. So I'm going to stick around for a minute and see if any more names come through and I will say hello to you. You are welcome to stick around with us if you want. Here's a couple more, Bella in California. Hello to you. 
Hello to Grace and Isaias in Pennsylvania. And I'll just keep waiting around in case there's more. Technology sometimes takes time for those comments to float through the internet and land on my phone. I'm going to stick around to see if there's any more hellos. Hi to Hannah. Hello to Nayana Mani from India. If there's any more, I'll just wait a little bit. Here's another. Hello to Sophia in Houston. I also used to live in Houston when I was like in kindergarten and first grade. I did in Houston. Went to Lambkin Elementary. If anyone knows where that is, I have no idea where it is because I was only six. So I just went wherever, wherever my parents drove me. That's where I went. Uh, let's see. In the Eastern time zone, the jam session will now be at 7 p.m. next Wednesday. I picked 4 p.m. because the majority of our users are in the continental North America. And uh, I needed to do a time where kids were out from school, which would be if I do it at 4 p.m., then everyone's out from school and home on the West Coast and the East Coast. It's still hopefully before bedtime. And I know that people who live outside the continental US, it's just kind of all over the map. So we have some people in like the Philippines. This time will actually be better for them now because some of them were waking up at 5 a.m. to do the jam sessions. But of course, for our people in the United Kingdom, this is a worse time. So it was just a sticky thing to try and solve. Ah, I wish I could just teleport in time and make it a good time for everyone. Let's see, hello to Zachary. And hello to Adelie in Arizona. I think that's all the people I'm seeing. So, probably sign off in just a moment. Oh, here comes another. Hello in Colombia to uh, Juliana. Glad you could watch. At least that's the name I see on your account. And hey, thanks for making music with me today, everyone. It's always fun. Hope you guys are all staying safe and happy, healthy. Let's keep making music, and I will see you all next week. Thanks again.